cold and damp conditions at Bala for round two of the Mintex National Series. And the crews faced the additional prospects of mud and fog on the classic Welsh forestry stages. First round winners Trevor Smith and Roger Jones in their 4x4 Sierra led the team through the opening 9 and 3 quarter mile stage. Alas, the rally started badly for Smith and Jones as a fuel pump was knocked off and the Ford finished a lowly 14th on stage 1. Next up, Japanese journalist Hideaki Miyoshi, close to a win in the Mazda Winter Rally with co-driver Andy Moss and he took his gallant to an early lead. At number 3, Jim Bothwell's border automotive Toyota and then the giant killing Nova of works driver Dave Metcalf and Ian Grindrod running the event with an unhomologated six-speed gearbox. Steve Hill and Brian Goff were one of the many crews to suffer punctures, but moving into fifth place, the Toyota of Glyn Jones and Rylan James. Second fastest was another Toyota in the hands of David Mann, despite a near-standard engine. The works Peugeot of Kevin Ferber established itself in fourth place, just behind the spectacular Ian Roberts. Despite this promising start, numerous gremlins intervened and the Sierra slipped from contention. Making its rally debut, the Nissan Sunny with Bill Gwynn and Robin Hurd, but their progress in the near standard car was hampered by punctures. Ominous signs from Trevor Smith's Sierra. Indeed, a blown head gasket saw the end of his Vauxhall Sport Rally and lead in the National Series. Mayoshi was clearly in the lead after three stages, but Jim Bothwell was having an unrewarding day beset by electrical problems. Metcalf and Grindrod had to replace a rear wheel assembly that had gone missing and were moving back up through the field. Steve Hill took fifth fastest on Dubby One but the only driver challenging Mayoshi was David Mann, albeit 30 seconds down on this stage. Pete Doughty and Ed Morgan finding two-wheel driver handful, but Kevin Ferber continued to charge along, moving into third place overall, despite instructions not to bend the cars. Steve Smith was running the group in Lancia, and one of the favourites for the Nova GSI Super Challenge, Alastair McRae, certainly wasn't holding back, although he did retire later. Another young Scot, Dom Buckley, who's been very impressive recently, had a problem on Dovey, which we found out about at service. The third stage came into a hairpin and just clipped it in tight and it went up in two wheels and we were waiting on it coming down and it rolled over the wrong way. So we lost about 30 seconds by the time the spectators got us pushed back down. But apart from that, we've had no real problem, no punctures yet or anything. The tyres are going well. Trevor Smith, however, did have serious problems. Here we are, three stages in, 14 stage miles later, the damage and let's go. So it went on the third stage? Yeah, it's about three miles in. It uh, pressurised the system, blew a hose. Mayashi had only one complaint. I don't like hairpin. All the time hairpin. I lost maybe three or four seconds. Too many hairpins. Yeah, too many hairpin. I don't like hairpin. There were still many more tight corners to negotiate, but Mayashi was extending his lead over David Mann to be 78 seconds clear at the halfway stage. Steve Hill was running reliably, and Dave Metcalf was once again charging through the leaderboard after his earlier problems. Gemini Scholarship winner Steve Davis was holding a position in the top ten, still coming to grips with four-wheel drive, and continuing in an impressive second place, David Mann. Mayashi's only problems were with a slipping clutch, but the Mitsubishi was well clear of the opposition, and it was up to them to try and catch him up. Jim Bothwell began setting some fast times, and Jeremy Eason, in his new Sierra, took the Group N lead from Dom Buckley, the Mazda driver losing time when he was immobilised between some log piles. Paul Dias was another of the Group N Cosworth Brigade, and he eventually finished in 12th place. 
The GTX version of the Mazda 323 had an inauspicious run on the Mazda Rally, but it went much better for Ken Jones on the Vauxhall event, finishing in 11th place. Hungry for the second place that David Mann occupied, Kevin Ferber lost further time on this stage, and the positions look settled. Mayoshi, Mann and Ferber. Group N was in Jeremy Easton's favour, ahead of Don Buckley, as the final foggy Kokainog stages were tackled. No timing mishaps on this rally, and Hideaki Miyoshi deservedly took victory in the Vauxhall Sport Rally. Equally impressive in second place, David Mann, and he held that place for most of the rally. Without the advantage of four-wheel drive, Kevin Ferber drove forcefully in the 205, recording a great third place. Jeremy Eason made sure of fourth place and the Group N victory, demoting the spirit of Dave Metcalf to fifth place overall. Don Buckley finished in sixth place, and John Milner in the other works 205 was in seventh place. And taking the GSI Super Challenge, Richard Forster. The victory for Mayoshi, the first by a Japanese driver in Britain, sees him take the lead in the Mintex National Series after two rounds from Steve Hill and David Mann.